Hello and welcome to the Diet Dr. Pepper series. We are at a fan favorite track, Nashville Super Speedway this week. A favorite of mine and uh, league admin Gavin's and uh, a whole lot of other people because it puts on some very good racing. Uh, we will usually get long green runs here and that's what we're hoping to see here tonight as well. And I'm really looking forward to it. Lots of fun here. A uh, intermediate track where you've got to use some brake, lift off the gas, got to fight the loose race car, all the stuff you can want I think from an intermediate race so hopefully we'll have ourselves a good one. Jumping out for qualifying here, if I can hit a lap in the 29s I'll be very happy. Uh, that's going to be tough to do though so I'm going to focus up here real quick, maybe be a little bit silent. So bear with me, I'm going to try to hit my marks. That almost seems like it might be a little bit faster, just judging by that first corner. Alright, we're going to go ahead and cut the apron here, get the most out of that lap, that felt pretty good. Going to push a little harder, lap 2 here, you can see I got really close to the wall, Let's see if we can get anything else out of it. Uh, can we go even faster? Not quite. Really close though. Woo! Spun it. Pretty much identical to my first lap. Ten hundred thousand, two thousand sec uh, second off. I'll definitely take that though. Feel good to have been able to pull that off. Um, I think a lot of rubber got put on the track from our practice. Maybe got some stability when we got on the throttle that we might not have had earlier, which. Uh, Helps get that grip middle and out of the corner. Maybe bring those speeds up. So right now, feeling pretty good. Warren and Pizza with a great lap. Cool to see him there. Andrew Tracy, both were really fast in practice. Not surprised to see them as uh, up there as well. We're going to practice a pit stop right now. Ah, uh, a little hard. <laughs> uh, hey, that worked, though. I kind of pushed it a little harder there, just to see if I could get away with it. Oh my god, that's loud for some reason. Uh, just to see if I could get away with it. But uh, I'm feeling okay. I found a good breaking point, I think, for uh, for that. So Chuck got the wall. Uh-oh, did he at least get a lap in? Warren says, can he change his time? Too good of a lap. That's pretty excellent. He got a, a sub-30. That's really hard to do. You really got to hit your marks pretty well in order to get that done, so. Uh, Chuck, 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 Chuck. Oh, no. Okay, he's down here. He at least got a lap in. I think there's, like, exactly 43 in here today. So, I'm, I'm pretty sure everyone's going to make it. It was really close. And, of course, you know, 43 make it to the future. And uh, I guess we'll find out in about 48 seconds. Got some overdriving. JP caught the apron in three. Screwed up his lap. So we're lucky to, to have been able to keep it smooth, I think. Nick with a really good time. He's 2, 4, 6, 8, eighth right now. I think just about everybody's got a lap in. Robert's not here. Austin and Lance have uh, not put laps in or have not hit the button. I think Austin might still be going. He's got a lap in, but maybe not the second one. That's the end of the session. You're hey, we get the pole. Sweet. 
So is everyone making it? Yes, everybody's making it, and therefore it is the warm-up now. All right, we get to lead the lead the field off. That's awesome. Feeling good about that. Make sure I've got my settings how I want them. This is what I went with, and I actually uh, went back 3% in the car as well. Brake bias all the way back. I want all the rotation I can get. And uh, I even do that in qualifying anyway. Uh, even if maybe that's not the best idea for qualifying because you don't really care about your long run speed for that. I just do it anyway so I can get used to how it feels for the race. I just I prefer consistent conditions so I can learn more about how the car reacts and things. And uh, it always seems okay. So, all right, I'll let you go for a moment while we uh, do some warm-up. I'll probably practice some more green flag pit stop. Maybe even uh, practice a launch by checking out what the pace speed is and see uh, how that feels. And uh, uh, we'll be back in a moment. All right, and we are back. So 187 laps here at Nashville Super Speedway. Do I have them muted? don't think so. Um, lots of laps to do here. Um, it's going to be really important to be ready for long run. Why can't I hear people? I know they're broadcasting on all teams, but I should be able to hear all teams. I don't know. Weird. Um, Got to get this back so I don't forget. I tested and warm up just a little bit. I can't hear anybody. I'm not sure I can hear people on mic. Go on, everybody. Do you hear me? Okay, yeah, I got you. I was just worried for a second. I couldn't hear anybody. I can hear you. Yeah, I can hear you, Cole. Cool, thanks. That's Paul. The track yeah, I can hear the mic check real quick. Too. The air temp is 74 Fahrenheit. That's Frank. Thank you. All right. So I guess we're good there. So I actually practiced uh, launch a little bit. I'm thinking it's going to be a good second on. gear start. Not too surprising from the Gen good 4. Luck. Thanks for joining. Remember to be careful on the restart and uh, start in second gear. <laughs> second gear. Yeah, Gavin good agrees. Good Gavin agrees on the gear. That's good. Warren on our outside. Seems like we can get, it, get on it somewhat decent for the uh, initial start. But got to be careful when it starts getting higher RPM. Going to be ready for that. Alright, a little nervous starting from, from the pole here. But give it a go. Someone missed the start. Timothy missed the start. Come on, we're going green, guys. Catch the field. I'll get some people catching okay, the field. I'll wait for the longer then. Alright, decent launch. I'll take that. About half a second up. It's going to matter how we take care of the tires, so we're going to try to do so to a notable degree. Be uh, very gradual. I'm sorry, Frank, didn't mean to pinch it. About how I apply brakes and throttle. No worries, man. Going to kind of try to keep close, closer to the bottom. I think that'll help us. Let that brake bias work for me. I've got it back, so let's make the most of it. Let it rotate the car. The guy behind is just gonna 30.2. Okay, a little bit too much rotation there on throttle. Got on it a little hard. We're okay though. More gradual than that, please. Now Tracy usually doesn't like to save tires, so I'm kind of watching him back there. 
watching how far back he is. He might make a move for it. What I've noticed from him is usually he'll really try to get track position early, and then he'll settle in. Which is not a bad plan, a lot of the time. Nice having this little bit of a gap now. A little room to work with. Yeah, really try to focus on getting the runoff and not overdriving entry. Might have underdrove it that time though. I think I slowed down a bit too much. For three and four. I see Tracy coming up on me. Just gained a little bit. Would like to hold on to the track position if I can. Better three and four that time. More of the pace I want to be running consistently, I think. That mark was at 30.4. Yeah, that feels good, all right. Get some laps done. We have a lot of them to do here today. You've just done a 30.4. Probably going to be a pretty long race. In terms of time, we already know it's 187 laps. That's uh, about an hour and a half, I think. I'm sorry, like Tyler. I didn't want to do that. Probably a little bit longer. All good. Since we do have to do pit stops and, uh, you know, hopefully we don't get any cautions. Nashville Super Speedway is pretty good about being caution free most of the time. But, could happen. And uh, that would, of course, increase the length of the race as well. In fact, Race Lab actually has an estimate, an estimated uh, number of, uh, or amount of time this race should take. If it goes all green, and that is 134, so my uh, my guess was pretty on the mark. Just over about an hour and a half. Tracy coming up on me. I was not quite perfect. Last couple of laps. Yeah, you better go too. Oh, okay. Starting to spin him up a little bit on exit. Gotta remember not to push. Even though I would like this track position, I don't want to kill hey, my exactly. tires. I'm trying to run away from him. You got it, man. Just not a pace I want to go at right now. I'm hanging on here. Try to keep it smooth. Go light and go low. Hi Tracy, we got some room. Hopefully that doesn't mean that we're overdriving it. Looks like it's getting looser. Tracy might be able to get around me here in a minute.
Not gonna block him off. The car inside. Let him go. Still there. Clear inside. Keep high. Clear inside. Got a nice gap behind us, so I don't want to lose all that by fighting side by side for a while or anything. The next car's the Be interesting to see how the uh, car reacts. I think it's actually going to get looser and looser. So maybe I should really focus on being easier on the throttle on exit. Up time was 31.0. Got Ian behind us, 1.6. I think he's been gaining. Still very early though. Guess I should have really uh, looked at the hit stops and such. I didn't really look at that too much. About 38 or 33? 33, 33. Laps left of fuel. Once we get to the line here. We'll just run it empty, I guess. I think that was a fake wall hit for Tracy there. I don't think that really happened. He just got close enough that the game thought he hit it for a second. We're keeping up with him. Ian, however, still catching back there. Maybe he did hit that. That was a pretty convincing looking hit. Don't have a run on him yet. He pushed a bit wide there on exit, got pretty close to the wall. Could just be maximizing his point though. Still the end's moving it. It's way forward for sure, it looks like. Looks like we're a little bit better in 1 and 2 right now than Tracy. Pretty equal in 3 and 4 though, I think. on him. I 
just, I don't want to fight him. I don't want to lose time fighting him. So if I'm going to pass him, I need it to be convincing. I don't want to rip up my tires either. So I'm just going to be careful and be patient and pick my spot here. If I do want to get back around him. Kind of like this, where he overdrives it real bad. Get the car outside. Still there. Fight it, I think. Keep low. Gap two clock behind Keep us Keep low. One point three. He's not content letting us go. So we will have You're to there. fight a little bit, unfortunately. You're back in the lead. You're in hell, side clear. Back in the lead. Is he going to cross us over here? Does not look like it. So that makes me feel kind of good. I think we uh, have done maybe a little bit better on tires, potentially. Okay, Colton. As a car exits in the pit, heads At least than Tracy. Of course, he could have just had that one moment there. What was going on at the bottom? I didn't really see that until the last second. Someone on the apron. We'll just keep hitting our marks, see where we end up at the end of this run. Still planning on just going uh, until the tank is empty, I guess. Go ahead, John. Keeping an eye on Ian back there, he really was charging forward for a while. That was a It's at 1.2 right now. Car's getting tighter on entry, it feels like. Maybe I break a little bit sooner now. That's good consistency, keep it up. It's tough work, you really gotta work the wheel here. Keep it steady on exit. of fuel. Apparently 19.5 is roughly 10 minutes of fuel. Trying to keep on top of the tires and how they're changing by backing up my corners, not seeing too much from them. Got underdrove entry right there, unfortunately. Saw so Tracy get big in my mirror. Will definitely be interesting to see the tires. Figure you as usual, my tires are gonna be terrible. 
you'll okay. Because that seems to be what happens every single darn time. You have lap traffic on the horizon, interestingly. stuff going on up there. I see the 50 off pace, potentially. Or maybe he was just letting guys by. Who's the guy in the apron earlier, I believe? What was that corner? That, terrible. that corner was terrible. That whole lap was not very good, actually. Let me focus. Left was barely better. <laughs> I don't know, maybe just natural fall off. Doing its thing. Maybe I can uh, hit the exits a little harder, though. Ooh, all right, about 13 laps of fuel left. I hope there's not a strategy I'm missing here. I haven't heard anything about people pitting. Kind of been a little more aggressive on entry the past couple of laps, and it's kind of worked. Here, I'll spun myself out there. But uh, <laughs> it was kind of fast when I tried it the other laps. Had a higher entry right there. The hope is to get a better runoff. Kind of worked, maybe, although I did have a bad entry last lap, so not so much. Yeah, Andrew. The lap time was at 31.6. I don't know why I'm experimenting so much when I'm already in a good spot, but... Well, then I'd get a heads up there, 57. Sorry about that. Okay, Colton. Five minutes of fuel remaining. Five minutes. Uh-oh. We got people pitting. I saw smoke. Nine laps. Of fuel. That lap was at 1.7. loose on exit. Do a healthy amount of counter steer. Wonder what an unhealthy amount of counter steer would be. I guess overcorrecting to the wall. Oh no, Tyler, that sucks. Oh no. I hate to see that. The gap to Pedro behind is now 1.1. 
Man, I know how that feels too. That stinks. That really sucks. I really like racing with Tyler. He's been a great competitor. And now he just poofed out of existence. Got Thanos snapped right out of this race. Thing. So we're going to come in with two laps of fuel left. So. That way if I mess it up on entry, I'll have another shot at it. Alright Colton, lap times are pretty consistent. Kind of not worried about the tires right now, just using them up. My bad, Alan. The rest of the time, Tyler has come back. Ah, oh, that guy was hitting in front of us. Heads up everybody, there's going to be a bunch of people pitting. Ain't that the truth. Got about four laps, three laps until it's my turn. See if we get any spins on pit entry. You have about five laps of fuel left. I hope we have a, ourselves a good I'm quick in 38 stop. Pit really stink to lose our advantage from a bad green flag pit stop. Hopefully that practice that I put in will come in handy. 58 pitting this time by. Alan, Chad, I'm pitting this lap. Chuck, I'm pitting. Tyler left. Man, I to see that for him. Got fresh tires coming up behind us. Pitting in here, pitting in. I'm going to fit this lap. 34 coming in, 34 coming in. Uh, a little risky. Risky for the biscuit, but we're good. We'll fuel tires, we'll do this thing. Pit box team, 10. 5, 3, 2, 1. Right here. 71 pitting. Clean enough, 5542. Uh, 5 pitting it. 75 pitting. 33, I'm leading this time. Go, go, go! 99 pitting, get flat. I did not practice pit exit enough. I will say that. Should have done more of that, I think. Outside. Clear up top. Nick has not pit yet. He might be coming in, so I gotta get to go high. Okay, Colton. The next car is Odi. The lead is pitting now. Car inside. He actually was not pitting there. Still there in the car. The red front. Yeah. P15. Stay high. Clear inside. We'll see how this cycles out. I see about exactly where he was, it looks like. About a second back. The car in front is pitting. The next car is Keely. Gotta get used to how these tires feel again. The lead is pitting now. 47 47, that's impressive. 86 in the top by Equal tires for him. Front of the top 10, 7 121 pitting. It's not as loose anymore. The tires are not. Or that now that the tires are equal again. We're on the. I was on the right rear. You're in 
victory. The lead is bidding now. Still some people out right now. Going a little longer. A little bit too sideways there. Third. This could get awkward. Waste time though. Actually, didn't notice. I guess Tracy probably pit on the same lap as us. Can't really see it right now though, because there's lap cars in between us. There is still a long way to go, though. Uh, Tracy did, in fact, pit on the same lap as us. It showed up on the race lab screen. Basically, one point six back right now. You know, I'm not the leader. You already left. Are you racing me for a second? So nothing, but I'm going for what? No, no, go ahead. Race for second. Ian had a really yeah, good log ride. Yeah, I here in turn one, Chef. Turn the first Thank half. You. So if he can be held back a little bit, that would be great. So we are just going to go full tank again here. Thirty-eight laps or so left in uh, the tank right now. Missed my entry a little bit there. I got pretty good though. Still got a good run through there. Just didn't quite get the turn in. I felt like it was bad on the right front potentially. Low here. Uh -oh. I think someone's car's doing cartwheels up there from internet things. Up 
lap time was 30.9. It's right there. Did not expect to have to go around his outside. Your lap time was 31.2. He's kind of sitting on the racing line too, but it's okay. He probably didn't expect me to catch him either. Essentially, we took one corner a little easier. That's going to help the long run, maybe. That feels great. might need a couple green flag pit stops still before the end of this one. Estimated 33 laps left on this tank, bring us to about 96. Lap time was 31.0. Just gotta keep it smooth. Try to limit the mistakes. Thank you. Got on the brakes a little bit too hard on entry that time. Probably was apparent by how sideways I got You've just done on entry. Oh, cool. Fallout car. I like it. I recognize Peter. I think he actually, I think I remember him saying it was going to be his first race tonight. Welcome to him. Your car. Right, Colton, <laughs> that's good Keep it up. Hands hurt already, man. We're not even. We're not even really close to halfway. That lap was at 31.1. We have a substitute driver on standby. Can I get my cat to like finish the final 80 laps or so? What is the deficit to the guy behind? The guy behind is Ian, and it said 2.4. Though Ian was better long run last time, I think. So I can't let up. He was the one chasing me at Texas, too, wasn't he? Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Thanks, Rick. Yeah, but a little bit of blinking ahead. Hopefully, it won't be an issue. Let's try to get around them. Gap two clock behind is now 2.9. Side by side head, that looked really tight. Whoa! I thought uh. Alan there was going to push up into him for a second. It's kind of hard to see how close they were from back here, but it looked close. Got to be careful getting through here. Got a nice little wad of cars.
car outside. Clear outside. I get past Frank, no big issue. The last lap time was at 31.4. Good consistency, keep them coming. Uh, a little too sideways there. Quite like that. Notice Steven behind me has been catching me. He's got two lap fresher tires. He wants to get by. Hopefully we can get that done quickly. The car outside. Keep low. Clear outside if you want it. Side by side up ahead of us. The car outside. Oh, it hurts my corner a little bit. That's okay. Still there, hold your line. Clear up top. Not that was at thirty one point five. Alright, we get through that without too much issue. We've actually gained a little bit on Ian since I last checked. It's now at 2.8. Some clear track ahead too, which is nice. After we safely got through that little bit of cars. Even once by, I just hope he's nice about it. Gets me on exit or something. No dive bombs would be nice. And we get one. Alright. Still there. Still there, hold your line. It's fine, just go. Right. Clear. If you're gonna pass me, you just gotta go. That's the only rule. Shouldn't have any problem. He was faster than me, pretty clearly. You've got ten minutes of fuel remaining. The captain. Hey, we're back to ten minutes of fuel. If I remember correctly, that's about nine and a half laps. Let's see if that's correct. Oh no, Eric left too. I wonder what happened to him. Actually, it says uh, twenty laps. Eric left. Multi-time winner here in the Diet Dr Pepper series. He must not have had a good race. Maybe a penalty on green flag pit stops, potentially. Could have uh, derailed his race. That's too bad. Not sure if that's what happened. Something must have happened. We've got about 18 laps of fuel for this run. We've got some time to go still. Uh oh, smoke down there. Someone may be spinning on getting a uh, pit road. It looked like they were straight. I couldn't see very well, but. Be okay, I think.
to check on Ian back there. 2.9. Gained a second on him since I last checked. Damn, people are dropping out. We're losing them. Kind of realistic, though. You know, you got just, uh, equipment troubles partway through the race for some some drivers in real life, especially in this era. It's for falling apart all the time, even for the big teams. Hands hurt. I always, I always grip the wheel way too tight. Especially at these tracks where you gotta fight the loops and stuff. Working the wheel. Yanking it off my desk. All that good stuff. Thank you for the room, Matthew. No problem. Is he pitting? Is he trying to tell me he's pitting? Hey Dakota, this is Alan. Uh, I'm going to pit on the next uh, time around. We do have guys pitting though. Alan, for example. Go ahead, Close on to that time. Well, never mind. I Thanks, Alan. Out of me now. So Matthew, I'm pitting in. 67 pitting in. Big thank you. We still got 12 laps or so. I'm just gonna run it dry again. <laughs> A little too easy on entry for me there. That made me scared. I approached him much quicker. I thought I would. Turn into that. Ian about three and a half seconds back. We're still gaining. Five minutes of fuel estimated now. It's about nine and a half laps in the tank. Sorry about that. Fighting the loose. Not sure if my wheel's coming across on the audio, but I had to yank it a little bit there. behind us. I'll give you the bottom here. Car inside. Clear. 
temperature, there's no doubt. Oh my gosh, spinning a little bit. We're good. Give him bottom. It's way up the track. Okay, this is getting a little weird. We got people uh, on fresh tires, people coming out of the pits. Could get dangerous. Clear in God. I have to keep an eye behind me for guys flying up on us. Okay, Colton. Cup times are pretty consistent. Outside. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Clear up top. <laughs> Well, I'm telling. Back around the 83. You've just done a 31.9. Got Brian Newman in front of us. <laughs> the 39. All tell. Inside. Thank you. Five laps of fuel left. Clear. You just done a thirty-one point eight. Outside. Okay. Clear. I'm fitting here, Matthew. Oh, my hands. Oh, are we at least halfway yet? Jesus, this race is long. Just as long as the other ones, I guess, but it's taking a toll on me. Two minutes of fuel remaining. I wonder how Gavin did the laps for this, because there was no real Nashville Super Speedway Last race. Time was that, that era that this is based on. So I wonder how he did the laps. I'm kind of curious now about it. Maybe based on Bush Series laps? Because I think they actually raced here. Maybe not at that time, but closer to that time? I don't know. Pitman, Pitman. Because he has been doing half-length races. Pitman. I think. 75 Pitman. Based on the real things? 14 Pitman. 18 Pitman. You've got one gallon left. 16 Pitman. If we're pitting next lap. We'll go an extra lap. Behind is now 3.6 seconds. Oh, it's Tracy. Okay. Yeah. You have about two laps of fuel left. Two okay. laps. We're we'll, we'll come pitting. Very little fuel left in this lap. Box this lap. That was a 31.8. Lap times are pretty consistent. Pitting in here. Pitting in. Hey, let's not mess this 99 up. 99 pitting, 99 pitting, go high. Pit this lap, in this lap. Look out for the pits. Okay, we're good. I'm pitting, Ian. Good boy. We'll Average entry, out. I think. Let's make sure we hit a constant 45. 29 pitting. Everything's looking good there. I don't trust the auto fuel necessarily, so... I make sure I check. Five, four pitting this time. Three, two... One. Right here. 58.39. Killing it right here. 58. Getting in. Just... Go, go, go! The lead is fitting now. Behind. Never mind, I missed it. Don't spin out on exit. Try to be quick, but not hurt yourself in confusion. Oh, that was fun. Eighty-six to stand by. Outside. Clear. Man, what a great race so far. Caution-free. 
The Nashville Super Speedway Bob Special. Pitting this time. Bob pitting this time. Hey, uh, John, I was my ass front load. So close, yeah. Uh, it looks clean to me. Tracy got some damage, maybe? He had 1.6 back. I think he undercut us by clean, two laps. I got yes. real damage. Oh, Tracy's going to have to go. Shoes. Outside. The car in front is pitting. Still there. Clear outside. Some guys going long. Back in third. Keep hustling. Sharp, I'll give it to you. Thank you, man. All right. E3 right now. The captain, Renick, behind is in Crixen. It's now 1.3. Eighty-eight laps to go. You're back in Vegas. I think we come in on lap 144. So cut it in half. So we should just need one more stop. Standby. Car in front pitting outside. The lead is pitting now. Clear. Car outside. Twenty twenty one. Twenty twenty one. Outside is clear. Take the bottom here, Benjamin. Apron ahead. Plenty of action, even though we're out front right now. Lots of lap traffic to move around, kind of like Texas in that same way. Cars all over the track. Big field, of course. Started with 43 exactly. It's pretty fun. Miss 43 car fields. Really, the extra three cars doesn't make that much of a difference, especially in the era of starting parks where probably more than three of them basically didn't race anyway. The There's something memorable and interesting about the number 43, I feel like. Even not even talking about Richard Pett. But just talking about, like, a 43 car feet. That's uh, what I remember. First was uh, getting introduced to NASCAR when I was younger. So it's fun to have a, a field like that here in, the, in this series. I have a wheel down there, that guy may hurt now. Nah, I'm just slow. How'd you get damaged? I just went low, and there was a lap or down there going like that gear sick thing, and I just went to go slip to the outside and I misjudged it. Luckily I didn't wreck him. Just wasn't trying to lose a bunch of time from going fully on the outside. Just trying to pick up as much time on Ian as I could. Really, I gotta stop playing at risk of the bathers. But... We'll come in one four. It's not gonna burn us, is it? I hope not. I think we can go green all the way. Really worried that 29 was about to hit the wall there. Oh, like that. Car outside. Clear up top. 
very, I made a very exaggerated move around him. I just didn't want him to pull it off and hit me. I'm sure he would have kept it up there for me, but no reason to even risk it. I'll take a, a worse entry into three if it means I'm extra safe getting around him. I saw that, Gavin. Yeah, I was looking at F3. 3.1. Back to the end. Hey, me too. That's how it's speeding on pit road. Oh no, we got a speeder. Stop, this is the police. You are speeding on pit road. It's like when you're playing the game of life, the board game. You spin a 10 and you have to pay, what is it, like 500? I'd rather pay $500 sometimes than take a speeding penalty on iRacing. I'll be honest. And I don't have very much money. <laughs> but man, that stuff's killer. Forty seconds held on pit road, that's a race killer, man. Now I would go bankrupt quick if I had to do that for every time I speed, because you know, but Look, we're taking turns now. Penalty is so harsh for speeding. Oh god, does that mean I'm next? Oh yeah. So this is a shorter run for us. Since we will be going to lap 144. I'm going to try to be quiet about it, but... It's going to tell the whole field, because I it'll say the leader's pity. Assuming I'm still in the lead by then. So I guess there's no reason that that's kind of a dumb thing to say, because yeah, then everybody's just going to know anyway. So what good would that do? I don't know. Thirty-three laps of fuel left. I don't know, do we just go to the end of this tank? Thirty-three... I mean, that's basically... Yeah. Basically, a full tank is right about 134, so I guess we just do go to the end of the tank. I guess why not? We've been okay long run anyway. We haven't fallen off terribly. I've been able to get on the right rear, probably to a fault. I'm probably making it really hard on myself having to hold onto this car on exit, but... This can be fast. So... I guess it's working out. Thank you. Coming up on the lap, or the lap, the uh, number 34, E19. He has six lap older tires, according to Race Lab. The heat pit. See, it looks like he's staying high for us. Maybe. Car outside. Go low. 
clear high. Didn't expect him to hold it that tight. I thought he was lifting off for us, so that got a little bit scary, but we're fine. do an Ian check here after we log this lap and uh, let some time pass see where he is compared to us go ahead eight four point six right now it says so it's still gaining good good You know what's really helping me in this race? They didn't put dirt on the track. <laughs> I'm really struggling in the K5 championship. And uh, it's because they keep putting this darn dirt all over the track. I don't know who's doing it. They come in the middle of the night and they just drop it all over right before we run the K5 championship. Every single time. I don't know who's doing it, but it's driving me crazy because I cannot drive on that stuff. I don't know what to tell you, man. Sitting in, 67, no, but that's been, in. that's been fun. It's kind of like, I have lower expectations for myself. Oh. oh expectations for some more for this. If I'm going to spin out. Um, anyway. I have low expectations for myself. Uh. Getting in there. Okay, so, uh. You know, there's like, I put less pressure on myself. Because I'm kind of a perfectionist in about everything. And so for the dirt racing, I'm like, this is new to me. I've never been great at dirt racing. Just gonna have fun with it, which I have fun with this. Don't get me wrong. But I, I know I, I can have a good chance at contending a lot of the time. So I like take it very seriously and practice and all that. And uh, I practice for the dirt racing, of course. Go away, Cole. But, uh... <laughs> Calm's gonna dominate this thing again if we don't get a yellow. Storm frames for the 4 <laughs> It's because no one put dirt on the track this time. Anyway, <laughs> what was I saying? I don't remember. That's been a lot of fun, though. I put a little bit less pressure on myself there, and uh, I've been able to do decent at times. Definitely not, like, contending for wins or anything, but, you know, just being able to make the features. I've been very, uh, I've been enjoying the ride, let's say. Twenty-two laps left to the tank. Yeah, we're just gonna run it till you know two laps to go again. Wonder how these things would drive on dirt. They would just spin in place. I don't even think they would move forward. <laughs> they would just spin the rear tires the whole time. Chad. Always fun seeing the Michael Waltrip car and number. Slow down enough there. I really wanted to make sure I wasn't, uh, ow, my hand, uh, sliding up into him or anything. Frank. You know, uh, no problem. Go get Benjamin in front of us doesn't want to go lap down, of course. So he's going to fight a little bit, I understand. I understand. 
kind of try to just get a get around on him, do it the right way. He doesn't have to just give it to us if he doesn't want to. That lap time was the two point six. Oh, I got loose trying to get on the gas there. John behind us, much better tires. Oh my god, he's spinning. The car inside, clear. <laughs> he tried. Damn it, Benjamin, you still took him out. Go to the chat. Inside. Okay, keeping it up high for the John here. Clear. clear. Lots of right rear action there. The lap time was at the two point eight. The captain club behind is now four point nine seconds. I think Ian's actually catching us a little bit. We had a little bit of slowdown with the car in front, so that makes sense. hand is going to fall off before the end of this race. It's my left hand. I guess just uh, ripping it tight just to ease through the corner. The wheel moving, fighting off the loose conditions and all that. You know what's funny about uh, using a steering wheel? Whenever I was, whenever I was really young, I used to play uh, NASCAR games a lot. The first one was like NASCAR 99 or something. I was, like freaking four years old. But uh, I remember going to the arcade and they had like the arcade setups with the steering wheels. And even though I was just a huge racing fan and I loved racing video games, I refused to race those because I really didn't like the steering wheel and the force feedback it had. It made me really uncomfortable. It kind of scared me. I guess as a kid, I was scared of everything as a kid. And the force feedback made me very uncomfortable, so I was—I never wanted to race on those arcades. It's kind of funny. Just a funny story. And now I'm very thankful for my force feedback. Let me keep this thing steady as I murder the right rear. I raced with a controller though, all the time. I never had a steering wheel until I did I racing. Even after, and even when doing iRacing, it took me about a year before I actually got a steering wheel. I used a controller, a PlayStation 4 oh, controller. Actually, who I ever drove that? I'll give you the bottom here. The car inside. The Still there inside. Six seconds. It's supposed to go past me. Clear inside. Go past me. All right, Colton. Half distance. Yes, it's five minutes of fuel remaining. Five minutes of fuel remaining. Yeah, starting i racing. I used a PS4 controller. It might have been a PS3 controller even, but uh, I was like doing the 1987s. That came out right when it first came out, and I was still on the controller. It's kind of funny. It's probably one of the worst cars to try to control with a joystick. But it, wor it worked, I guess. I got some wins, like at super speedways and stuff. Pass low. That lap was at 1.8. But it definitely helped me be better to have a steering wheel. We just, just even just force feedback helps so much to be able to tell what the car's doing. There are guys that can really wheel it though, without a wheel. <laughs> That's for sure. No, in the K5 championship. 
what's his name? Zach, I think. Zach White? Maybe it's a different last name. I think his first his last name is or different first name. I think his last name is White. He was talking about how he uses a controller. So he's one of the fastest guys in there. So it's possible. guy coming out of the pits behind us, Ryan back there, he should be flying up for too long, we'll let him go, he's got to be ready to do so. I'll give you the bottom here. Car inside. Clear. Okay, I figure he has much better tires. He can probably get through it real easy. So, just gonna let that happen. Get it done and over with. Just have to think about it. Tricky situation coming up. Are they going to be three wide? Or Yikes. Okay, that was close. Could have been bad. Very awkward situation with the guy coming out of the pits. Three different guys at different points of the race coming together. Outside. Go low. Clear. I think Ian's catching us. Frighteningly. Hit our laps. It's Chad. Awkward. That was a virtual point eight. Gonna pit this lap, Kevin. Outside. Pit four pit now. Into too hard. Because they're five laps of fuel left. Clear high. Just thinking too much about him entering hard. Ian's pitting in here. We're gonna pit next lap. Because I don't want him to gain too much. I'm pitting. He's going for an undercut. Behind is pitting. So I've heard. Pitting in here, pitting in. 29 pitting. Okay, let's get one more good stop in. Wow, well this is a battle for a second. Watch your speed. Yep, let's drift. Pits. Good idea. We'll need to stop again. Pitting this lap, man. Just did a Tokyo okay, drift into the pits. That yeah. was a... <laughs> Heart sinking moment. Five, three, two, one. Right here. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, my bad, Gordon. I didn't realize they were coming in. It's just an awkward spot there. We're good. That's it. Go. So you only have one time Let's see how that very edgy pit stop put us. The car in front is pitting. Phillips is now the end. Ian catching up. He gained about three seconds. He is on one lap older tires, however. But not a great green flag stop for us. 
Whew. So P3 right now, as we got some people Your staying out a little longer. We got coming in a little early. Actually, not really. Just a lap earlier. Just to defend on uh, Ian's undercut. Good to the end on fuel. Car outside. Still there. Clear. Let's finish this thing off. Nearly messed up the final pit stop, but. We are okay. That was a really scary moment with Ryan there. Five car pitting this time. Five pitting this time. Thankfully, he didn't get spun out or anything. Could have been very, very bad. The car is pitting. The lead is pitting now. It's pitting. Outside. Whoa. Clear outside. You're in first. I thought he might have been cut down on me for a second. Fine. Gap to clock behind is now 2.0. He's 16 and 17 ahead. They're fighting for position. Actively so as they're going three wide, or two wide. Thinking about how I might actually have to make this three wide. Outside. Clear. Outside. Clear outside if you want it. No, nope. no three wide necessary. We're just gonna be patient. No reason to be dangerous. We've got a little bit of a buffer to work with, so we will take it easy. Take our time. Not do anything dumb. Thirty-seven to go when we get to the line. What does it say? It's tough on the body when it goes green like this. I guess it's tough mentally because this two weeks in a row I've got a, a feeding penalty on the last lap or last pit stop. Hmm. Dang penalty. Oh my god, what is this? <laughs> We're fine. Really weird way to enter into the pits. I knew he wasn't going to be able to hold it on the apron necessarily from there, but... I'm pitting here. Not too I'm bad. I'm pitting and lap time was 30.6. Yeah, it's a clock behind is now 2.1 seconds. We are currently pulling away from Ian behind us with our lap fresher tires. We're making mistakes and feeling pretty good. Some smoke. Hopefully no cautions or anything. JP is on fresher tires. He is a lap down though. I imagine he must run out of tr run into trouble at, at some point. Maybe a penalty because he's usually very fast. 67, Oh, my left hand is gonna fall off before the end of this race. A little nervous, he's getting loose. Nearly hit the wall, eh? You've just done a 
outside. Clear up top. Go ahead, go ahead. I'm glad that didn't cause a caution. I'm not. Most, uh, same. Most a caution, okay, sounds like. Do not want that. Green run, dude. Let's get to a certain point where you need a caution to create racing. Everybody's just so far apart. Hey, inside, there's, uh, John. Thanks. I'll give you the bottom and one here. You've just done a 50.7. Okay, bottom and one, two, Kevin. Stay high, clear inside. All right, JP is by us on his fresher tires. The gap to put behind is now 2.8. Okay. Got too loose there. Ian 2.6 back. The lap time was 30.9. Left hand 2.6 minutes away from falling off. Ah, uh, it's like my fingers mostly. Just from gripping the wheel. Maybe I just grip the wheel less tight. Dumb head. Stop gripping the wheel so tight. You ever think of that? I feel like I'm going to wreck <laughs> if I don't grip the wheel so tight, though. It's just my nerves, I guess, making me grip it so tight. It really doesn't make much of a difference. As me playing baseball, gripping the baseball bat too tight, like, you listen to the pros and they're like, you got to have, like, a, a gentle grip on the bat. Meanwhile, I've got the death grip on it every time. Same thing for the steering wheel here. It's probably better not to What do I do? Every time. This is not the first time I've complained about having broken hands at the end of a race. See John on there, P3, five seconds back. Bit the same lap as Ian. Wonder if he's catching him back there. The gap to club behind is now 2.8. Kind of taking it easier now for the sake of my health, and uh, just because we've got some we got some room, so I think the best thing I can do right now is be smooth. Don't make any mistakes. Smooth is pretty fast here at NSS. Anyway, our sideways when you're trying to get a run off the corner and such. So it works. Take the inside one, two, good. Appreciate it. Gaining on Ian a little bit. He's now three seconds back. Outside. Outside, clear. Clear him on exit. The gap to put behind is now 3.2 seconds. Here I'm glad I practiced my green flag pit stops, though. 
Even though I nearly messed up the entry on the third one. We definitely needed that practice. Who knows, maybe I spin out on that third attempt if I hadn't uh, practiced. I'm so sorry. Oh, man, I I was trying not to pay it me. You're doing that. Oh, no cautions now. We have one set of tires. Yeah, I think I'm like seven laps down. Pit road penalty. I'm up to two tonight. Two penalties. Oh no, that's brutal. Just taking it easy, feeling good. John back there in the 18. He's been holding even with us on time, it looks like. Ian's been falling off a little bit, so it'll be interesting to see if uh, there's a fight for second before the end of this one. Okay, Colton, that's good consistency. Keep it up. That was a weird corner. I did not take that right. Yeah, so behind us now. Six seconds. Kind of got sideways on entry a little bit. What else to talk about? I've been playing Elder Scrolls Online recently. That's been fun. Uh, I don't record anything except for iRacing. I feel like if I started recording nonsense, random nonsense on here, you would be like, what the heck is this? Yeah, I don't you buy yeah. I just, I just subscribe and report my channel. But, <laughs> uh, I've been having fun with that, uh, playing that game with my wife. It was free on the Epic Games Store recently, and so why not give it a try? And it's been fun. It's been forever since a new proper Elder Scrolls game. Played Skyrim when that came out 50,000 years ago. And uh, that was a lot of fun. That came out when I was in high school. Hasn't been a new Elder Scrolls game, not counting Elder Scrolls Online. That's crazy. The 12th place car just lapped the 19th place car. That's uh, kind of funny looking. Man, these long races are so fun, man. Where you got all kinds of things going around the track. You've just done a 31.3. I love that stuff. Car feels great, by the way. Coming to 17 to go. I think being smooth has been good for us. Okay, Maybe not the fastest I could have been, but I don't necessarily need. Mach 10. Just gotta maintain. Right now we're in the maintain phase. Really wheeled it earlier, got a bit of a gap. And uh, we'll thankfully get now. to keep it since we have had no cautions. So now I can maintain, run consistent laps without having to feel like I need to push too crazy hard. Heck, maybe it's better for me in the end too. Probably is. It's not ruining my tires. We'll see what they are at the end of this run. They'll probably be worse. I have such a bad feel for how tires wear. They'll probably actually be worse than the other runs. Somehow. I'll be like, yeah, I'm kind of just taking it easy this run. And I'll look and it'll be like, 6-0. I'll be like, what? Well, How's this possible? Battle for 21st up ahead, I assume. Assuming they're on the same lap. Though you never know how long this race has gone on. Took an awkward corner that time. That's okay, got room to spare. Good save. Good save. Uh oh. Oh, I gotta change my shot! 
but having to save race cars, I really do not want to caution that. Oh god, where's Bryce going? <laughs> Other than into the wall. What happened there? He just missed his breaking point, maybe? Yeah, he's going low. Clear inside. It's out for us. Good Thank consistency. You. Keep it coming. No problem. Nice easy overtake. at 12 to go now. Getting close to the end. Last lap was at 31.6. My hands have reached Nirvana. They are on another plane of existence beyond pain. I'm gonna say hi, JP. I need to just get bionic hands. We just get entire arms Clear. while I'm at it. Go full cyborg. Technology just going quick, man. Probably closer. I hit it. Stuff. Heck, give them a mind of their own, put the AI in it. And I can ask it questions, too. Have it write reports for me. I was trying to think of something the that... Really? Why? No, the race is almost over. Why? No, nah, it's only the battle for the lead. Oh, oh Nikes. Someone up there. Or going full boy, but right, we gotta get the pace car, guys. Car sideways off, Here turn four. Be careful. His car ah, moving too. My hands. As much as I didn't want to see that, I'm kind of happy. My hands hurt so bad. Pedal to the floor, lappers. We gotta catch up. Yeah, that was insane. I'm really sore already. <laughs> well, time to put tires on it. We're gonna put fuel. Yeah, see, it's not my hands, it's my ankles that are, uh... That are... Keep the pedal on it. Alright, we're good now, alright. Thank you. I hope no one stays out. Just be in the pits. Look oh, out. Gotta go, guys! Go, 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 go! To stop again. Right, putting the fuel in it, putting the tires on it. Pit box in. Ten. Lucky dog coming high. Five. Three. Two. One. Right here. Well, we're gonna have to work for it. How did I enter a closed pit? Oh. Stretch. Your lap down, probably. Go, go, go! You're absolutely right. You are out of time. Line How did he beat me out? It's been too many green flag laps. I kind of lost count of how many down right now. Out. How did he beat me out? My pit crew let me down. Oh man. I couldn't tell you how happy I am that came out. Oh. Okay, hands feeling a little bit better now. Been able to stretch a little bit. I'm gonna get a drink of tea. Now hopefully that'll make us do a bunch of pay slaps. Alright. What's this looking like here? I don't think... Does it wave around with ten, less than 10 to go? I don't, I don't remember. Wave around should be a thing, right? Yeah, it should. You should always get the wave around if you're right behind the pace car and a lap down. Well, that sucks. Uh, not coming out f up front. I wonder if Ian's on two tires. Because I feel like I didn't... I feel like I did okay with the pit stop. I'm pretty surprised. Where are you at? 38? I 
feel like Ian had to have taken two or something, right? Now that we're under, uh, yo, Andrews. Might run all good or if I had damage basically, it's all right. It looks okay in the mirror, close by here. Did we have any two tire takers? I'm trying to figure out how I ended up not in the lead anymore. <laughs> Ian just got a better pit stop. I don't think there's anybody else in front of you besides him. Pits are open. I actually got a better pit stop than both of you, but I wasn't close enough to your bumpers on uh, the entry of that lane, so I didn't take the lead. Dang, I felt like I did okay. I had some space, too. I just, I guess I need to be more aggressive with sliding into my box or something. Yeah, I think it kind of depends on where you're at in your box, too. Like, if you're closer to the center, you sometimes you get a faster stop, but I'm not 100% on that. Uh, okay. I was thinking it was like if you get your rear is literally basically right next to that back line, so like it's early into the box you can get. Hmm. Oh well. I think Andrew only took a few, but the uh, back cars took so long to catch up that he was going to gain one spot from it. Well, uh, we're gonna have to get this done. If you watch the Coke drivers, they actually go, so like if the pit road speed is 45, they actually go like 50 and then slow back down to 45 on acceleration because you can do that and get away with it. Like that 10-foot gap or something like that if really well. Well, we're gonna have to make a pass. If we Anyways, want to good luck, guys. Then it black flag me. Alan got a black flag. That sucks. I might be down on power corner. Alright, well, I would like to win this race. Get ready. Going green. <laughs> See if we can do it. The pace car is in. Post car is off. Time to do your job. Green flag. Green flag. Green flag. The next car's the leader. Oh, it's so hard to get a good jump whenever it's they've got. Uh... Single file. Man, I have to catch him five tenths, man. Alright, Q laps. Time for doing qualifying, I guess. Five. Five oh, good idea. Oh, he's spinning. Oh, he's spinning. That kind of did. Inside. Still there, hold your line. Clear inside. Oh! oh. Is that the end? Is that it? I'm pretty sure that's it. Oh my god. That's it. Congratulations, Colton, man. Glad you didn't get taken away from me. The wall. My bad. <sighs> Nothing shit about that restart there, Tracy. That was a little, uh, little strange. But good race at the end, Kevin. I keep trying to talk and people keep talking. <laughs> ah, the fans are booing. That's oh my god. I'm not convinced yet. It's over. Ah, I'm just ready for the short track where nobody can get away. Oh, like a constant battle. Hey, see. They were so good. Good race. I can't believe that timing, Ian. That was like terrible luck. Just like one more corner ahead or something. Yeah, I got really loose. I had to get out. I did not want to get out of it. I was staying in it, and then once I realized it was going to go around, I had to win. Hey, Risa, man, I, I wasn't sure I was going to be able to get back to you with such short time, too. Yeah. Would have been a great finish, though, like, you're not there all four of you guys were bunched up. Ooh. 
Great race, though. Congrats again, Colton. I was worried you weren't going to get there after that pit stop and that caution. But fantastic freaking race. That was exciting there at the end, that battle. And uh, great job. That was really fun. It's our open. Thanks, man. I love this series. This is a lot of fun. Yeah, it's so much fun racing you guys, especially when it's so clean. We all right. We get the win. We have to do the rest of the caution yeah, race, everybody. I would have took a caution or two this race. <laughs> hey, technically, I feel like we, we got two. a couple cautions every race. That'll... I've never really minded cautions. Fine for me. Caution was two laps. I want to mind a caution every like forty laps, fifty laps. <laughs> It honestly kind of screwed me over because I started in 11 because I had a back ball flying uh, effort, so I could have used a caution at some point for sure. But that's definitely my short track type coming out of me where we get yellows pretty frequently to get a chance to get back to the Well, hey, we get another win. I'm going to need these when I can get them because intermediates, I think, are pretty much yeah, the only place I have a chance. Yeah, I stop and could just never get the time back. I'm just glad this one's over. I'm sweating like a motherfucker. There's not really much you can do on pit time the game. Everybody really goes off the same strategy. You try something way different. I don't really work on this game. You just end up going way back. Unless you get lucky. I tried a couple things and I just ended up... I'm so lucky I was time. able to get my 30, nose out in front 30, just 34. in time. It didn't matter if I went early, late. Imagine if that caution came out just a second earlier. Yeah, after he got sideways. I was sideways. by myself, I just kept wearing it long every time, just hoping to, to catch every all you guys out. Don't pull a Mark Martin. Pull it in right now. Got to do one more lap. Did Ryan just do a Mark Martin? Great race, fellas. Good win, Colton. Uh, glad you let me go, let me drive in this class with you guys because I'm a rookie. <clears throat> up, 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 and up. Mm. So uh, this one will end with a whisper rather than a roar, but it was an intense race all the way through. Tons of cars everywhere. Pretty much the whole time, once we started getting pit stops in, and then there were a couple penalties. Imagine if my internet went out right now. <laughs> I'm looking at that tiny little bit, bit of green on the cue bar up there, and I'm like, imagine. Uh, that was a pretty uh, intense race. Really had to focus on hitting my marks we're under caution. It's close. the whole time, because the competition is so high, man. Guys like Tracy on my bumper and Ian the whole time. And of course, John very fast Appreciate as well. Great stars. It was a lot of fun. Goodwin Colton. I will see y'all next week. I'll pass a pace card and get a weird penalty or something. It's off week next week, and then uh, I think after that we'll come yeah. back. But yes, great stuff. Woo. And I'm looking forward to the next one. John won. What the heck? It's an off week. That's next great coming up. We got two weeks. Let the paid car bike. Great yeah. job. You did really well. Sounds good. I'll see you guys in two weeks. He might have. Auto club, right? In case he doesn't have voice chat. We'll slide through the grass. <laughs> Thank you to Ben. I'll do my Thanks, Jimmy, everybody. Good race. Fly to him. Good race, good win. My butt sweaty. See you on two weeks. Okay, the race is over. Bring it on in. Half up. Oh, two. Come. Catch the pace. Car. Yeah. Love this track, man. Good stuff. Good Half stuff. Up 99. Car. Half up. 57. Car. All right, reply to a couple people.
rescue chain. Smoke the wall, way loose with damage. Good race. What did our tires end up with? Oh, I guess it's gonna be who even knows, because we burned out and it was like fresh tires, so. Kind of a heartbreaker for Ian, because he got himself in the exact position he wanted to be in, and then he just got loose that one time, and it was just terrible timing, because we were like close to losing this race because of that. You'll see. Like, look at this gap he has. And then he just gets loose. And then we're just able to get around him. And then... Caution. I'm looking for caution lights. I don't see them. Where are the caution lights? We'll look at the pace car, I guess. That is wild. That was so close to being Ian's win there. The caution came out right when I got around him. That was kind of crazy. Well, I, I just watched your last pit stop, Colton. You almost ate it. Yeah, that was a that was an adventure. Even uh, when, before I got to my stall, we had Ryan coming out of his stall, and we kind of got tripped over on each other. There was a couple scary moments there. Yeah, I'm glad you held on to it one. Thanks, man. Good race. So we will go ahead and look at the incidents now. Check out from the beginning. We're going back in time. Yeah, I ended up starting in second right next to you. And I knew immediately I did not belong there. That was a great lap, though, to get into the 29s, too. I, didn't, I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to pull that off. I think the track was a little bit faster than what I practiced it, and it helped me get uh, a little more grip. Is this broken? I was only getting in the 31s in practice beforehand. And then I see the 29. I was like, oh, well, that's great. And then I saw I was second. And I was like, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> it was a heck of a lap. There we go. Finally, that took forever. Yeah, I appreciate it. All right, so. Get the camera. Right. Good win. I'll see you in a couple weeks. Take care. <laughs> Have a good one. So we will see what happened. Probably not much to see. Probably some wall hits. Loud. That's just a blink out right near the start. Um, looks like Frank's gonna be doing it a little bit. I think uh, she wouldn't let me. <laughs> So we will move along. Did we just go to the caution? We might just have to go to the cautions at the end because I think we're just going to see Frank blinking a bunch. Maybe Tim in there a little bit too. Yeah, we're just going to see Frank blinking a bunch, I think. So We are just going to go to the cautions. So we're skipping most of the race. Uh, right around here. Uh, Frank, I said no Steve, really. Oh man, what happened here? 
I just kill him. Uh, okay. Back to it. We'll see what caused this wreck. Looks like Bryce comes down a little bit. So they're three wide right there. Um, Bryce kind of off the wall a little bit. It looks like he's trying to like come into the center. He might just be spinning him up though. In this car. And then Chad's kind of there. And then they hook each other. And then, is this even a caution? I'm surprised it would be, because they're all the way down there in the grass. But it looks like it was. I'm actually pretty shocked. No, it wasn't a caution. Someone come back on the, on the racing surface? There's a blink. Oh, okay. That's not a blink. It gets loose, overcorrects into the wall. That's definitely a caution. But there was a caution on 176. Was there not? Have a good one. So what did bring out this caution? Was it that crash to the infield? Because I that it would be very surprising to me. We'll rewind to see when exactly the caution comes out and if it it came out right when uh, those guys were spinning. I guess it would have had to have been it. Oh no! Okay, here it is. Here it is. So what happened here? So the nine passing Billy a lap down, and then uh, oh, he just gets too close to him, and it's these car bodies, man. The slightest, tiniest little touch spins somebody, just barely at all, grabs him, and then on. It's unbelievable how fast someone spins around. So that was your caution right there. Ooh, that is very unfortunate. That's how. Ryan went from his top 10 to not top 10. So he sees him rolling down without the brakes locked up for a second, and he stabs the brakes thinking he's going to roll down in front of him. Gets his car unsettled, and then that's got to be infuriating for him. Oh, I hate that for him. That sucks. That's, uh, now moving on, this is uh, our final caution. I believe. Or I don't think this brought out a caution. That's right. So this didn't bring out a caution. In fact, Ryan was in that one as well. Just completely fell apart for him at the end. I hate that for him. Did it bring out a caution? He sure he certainly stopped on the on the track. I think there's I think we're still going. Yeah, this is what brings out the final caution, I think. Frank getting it loose over correcting and then that was the end all right so uh, I presume between everything probably just a bunch of wall hits and stuff too many laps to go through to look at so we will call it there we get the win heck yeah um, barely held on to it after that late restart very fortunate to be able to pull it off we're going to go ahead and look at the race results page. And then after that, we're going to look at the season standings. See how that uh, worked out for us. Presumably pretty good. Another very nice race for us. We get the fastest lap. That's more bonus points. Lap led and most laps led. We had a lot of different people lead laps throughout this thing. So we'll get 185. Total points, as you can see, our fastest lap was right, uh, that would have been right after the end of the second pit stop, or the, you know, the last pit stop, right? 
So less green flag pit stop. So that's interesting. I don't know why I'm checking what split we're in. That's <laughs> I'm I'm a little slow sometimes. Bear with me. Uh, we're gonna check out the standings now. So I will switch over the view. I wonder if I can do this a different way that will be easier on me. All right. Yeah, there we go. Sorry, that looks a little bit weird right now. I'll fix it. Um. Okay, sorry, I'm doing this live. I, I kind of decided last second I was going to do this a different way. But, uh, all right, we'll take that. That works. So we are going into the Diet Dr. Pepper series and loading up the league total results. We are now in the lead. All right, Gavin, P number two. I don't know why that is, like, off the side a little bit. But uh, Gavin in P2, we're actually just barely up there. Uh, we really got hurt by disconnecting before in, uh, in Bristol, for example. And, I'll, of course, getting wrecked out at Atlanta uh, very early. So we had a couple of really bad DNFs, essentially. And so uh, that hurt us a lot on points, especially these old-style points where consistency matters. But three wins definitely help uh, helping us out. And uh, hopefully less issues moving forward will help us get that consistency back and uh, 30 bonus points definitely doesn't hurt either so feeling pretty good feeling pretty good for sure so all right that will do it for this one thank you for watching uh, we had ourselves another great race uh, just like uh, Texas and uh, oh, I just noticed John uh, I thought he was up near the front did he speed or something I don't know. He might have said something about it. You know what he did? He passed us at the end. He penalized himself by doing that. I don't know why he did that. I thought that might happen, but I didn't I didn't think about it anymore. I don't know why he went and did that, because he was congratulating us, but we didn't pass the line yet, so he gave himself a penalty doing that. Of course, he's not really doing the uh, standings anyway, so because uh, he hasn't done all the races. So he's probably not too concerned about it. But uh, that's what happened to him. But anyway, that'll do it. Uh, good race to everybody. So fun to be able to do these long races in the Gen 4. Long, clean races, too. And uh, so I will see you next time for the next race. Appreciate you. Have a good one.